Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to retrieve or find your Windows product activation key on Windows 10 or Windows 11 from various methods. We're going to be trying to do it for the retrieval method. So, if you've got an old hard drive, such as one of these, or possibly an M.2 drive, and you've got a Windows installation and you want to recover the key from it, we're going to show you how you can potentially do that. And also we'll be showing methods of actually retrieving the product key from an existing working Windows installation. So if you're planning on wiping the system and reinstalling, we'll show you how to recover your key. Now there are going to be some caveats to this because there are many, many types of Windows product activation key. There are ones which are tied to a Microsoft account, there are local accounts, and there's also volume keys and all those kinds of things as well. So potentially the first method may not work for you, but we'll go through, do a various amount of methods. Hopefully one of them will work. If for some reason none of these methods work and you still need to get yourself a Windows product activation key, we are going to try and help you out a little bit. We do have links in the video description for premiumcdkeys.com forward slash Mike's Unboxing where you can pick up a brand new shiny key for Windows 10 or Windows 11 for less than around £5 here in the UK or around about €5. Euros. So if you uh, don't get through all of these steps and you're still stuck, head over to those links and uh, should be able to help you out. So with all that said, let's get on and take a look and see what we can do. Now also there are going to be things, obviously, if you're trying to recover a key from an existing hard drive from another machine, you are going to need some form of caddy USB device uh, on this particular M.2 drive. We're using one from Oracle. There's various ones available. I will try and put some links for these types of devices in the video description as well. But again, if you get stuck, then just uh, reach out to us on the Discord or in the comments section and I'll try and point you in the right direction. So with all that said, let's go over to the computer and let's get started. Right, so we're on our Windows 11 desktop. Again, Windows 10 users, this is gonna be a very similar principle. Now, one of the ones I like to use quite frequently is an application called ShowKey Plus, which we've got installed here. If you wanna get it, it's very easy to do and it's a legitimate program. You can get it from the Microsoft Store. So open up your Microsoft Store application and in the search box, just type in ShowKey Plus. And there you can see I've already got this one. So you can just click on that, install it if you want to, or obviously in this instance, we can click open. This is pretty good and it's got some pretty decent reviews and ratings, very handy little product. So let's go and take a look at it. So when you first open up Show Key Plus, you get all your Windows product information. I will be blanking out most of this so you can't actually see it, but it will tell you your product name, product ID, build version, the installation key, and also the OEM key. So if you've got an OEM key, which is actually installed within the device's firmware, that will show up at the bottom. If you've got a manually installed key, it will show in the next box up where it says installed key. If you have a key which is attached to a Microsoft account, then you'll probably just get a generic key in there, one that ends in something like 3V66T, depending on what it is, the volume, license keys, all that kind of stuff. So this may or may not be useful for you. In this section, you can also do check addition. So if you've got a product key and you're not too sure what it actually is, you can go ahead and type in your 25 digit license key into there, click on check and it'll tell you what kind of license it is, whether it's a volume license, whether it's a retail license, an OEM license, and for which operating system it supports, either home or pro. So for those of you who've got keys knocking around and you're not too sure what it's for, you can put it in there. One of the other options I like is the retrieve key. So in the retrieve key, it's looking for a piece of software or actually a location on an external hard drive. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm about to plug in a USB drive which contained a previous Windows installation. And that is now on our D drive. So what you wanna do is actually navigate to this location. So Windows System32 config, and we're looking for a file called software. Now I find with this, sometimes it doesn't open up properly. So the easiest thing to do is if you go to your Windows disk D or just open up this drive, you can go to Windows, scroll down to System32, into Config. And if you scroll down through, you'll see there's a folder or file there called Software. Now what I like to do on this is to right click, choose Copy, and just paste it onto the desktop. So there is our software folder. So that is one way of doing it. If you do the retrieve key the other way, so if we do it via the software program, so we'll do local disk D, go to Windows, System32, and then into config, 
yeah, it's actually letting us do it this time. Sometimes it comes up with an error saying it doesn't have the access rights. So you can click on software and click open. And there you go. It will pick up a license key from a previous machine or a previously used machine. So it tells you the 60-bit operating system. The installed key on there is going to be the same as my previous one because it's all attached to my Microsoft account on that particular system because I know where it's from. So that is one way of doing it. If you've got an older hard drive, M.2, SSD, etc., that you want to retrieve information from. You can also save information, but that is probably something better for a later day. This is more concerned about actually retrieving keys. So that is how to use Show Key Plus. So the next part is actually going to be linked in the video description as well. So this is a link to an actual Microsoft article showing you how to recover your product keys. Again, okay, this is from a working installation. So if you have a working PC and you want to pick up the code, this is how to do it. Again, links in the video description. You can head over to this page and it tells you how to recover it. It goes like telling you all the different things. So if you get to do this part here, so this is a really easy one. So this is just a PowerShell command. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to copy this section here where it ends in product key, right click, choose copy, then go down to search, type in PowerShell or start typing it so you can open up the Windows PowerShell app. So this is your PowerShell. Literally all you want to do now is control V or paste and put it in there and hit enter. And in this instance, it's not going to pick it up. It can't pick anything up because it can't pick up this key from the registry. And the reason why it can't pick it up from the registry is because the key for this machine isn't held in the registry because this is a online key, which is attached to my Microsoft account rather than being an offline or a local account. So you may or may not find your product key in this section. If it's there, it will show you it, the 25 digits there. So that unfortunately didn't work for us in this instance, but what I'm gonna show you is another one. So this is how to run a script to actually go a little bit deeper into the registry. Now this again is on this Microsoft document here. So what you wanna do is to copy from here all the way down to end function. So that's all highlighted, right click, choose copy, now what we want to do is we want to open up Microsoft's notepad. So there we go, we've got a blank notepad now. So what we can do, control V, paste all that information in there. And this is the really important bit. What you want to do is click on file then do save as, and just name it to something, whatever you want to, um, call it script or something, that's fine. But the important bit is this bit here. So save as type, you want to choose all files. And now what we can do is go back up to the file name and we actually want to add an extension. Now this script works in Visual Basic. So we want to call it script.vbs for Visual Basic script and then click on save. And this is saving to our Windows desktop. So you save it to wherever you want to. I should close that window down. So now on our desktop, we've got this file here, which is a Visual Basic script. So all we need to do is just double click it to run. And there you'll get a small pop-up in the middle of the screen giving you your Windows license key. So this, in theory, should be the actual installation key that you can use. So if you need to reinstall Windows from scratch and ask you for a product key, or you've installed Windows and it says it isn't activated, you can go to the activation section and type in this key. And you should then find that your Windows installation is activated and working. When you're happy with that, just click OK. You can, of course, if you want to, save this script file, keep it on a flash drive or something for later use. Quite a handy thing to have on your toolkit. Now, the last one is actually looking in the registry. So you can actually find out some information in the registry. Again, because this particular installation of Windows is with a online Microsoft account rather than being a local one, the information in here won't be particularly relevant to me, but potentially could be relevant to you. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is to open up RegEdit. Again, click on search. Start typing reg, and you should find it there, registry editor. You'll get the user account control. You won't be seeing this because this is recorded in OBS. And you want to navigate to this particular section. So you want to go to computer, H key local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, and then software protection platform. So again, if you go for the side there, you can start from the very top and go through and just expand all those out. So HK local machine, software, Microsoft, etc., etc. But you can actually copy and paste that actually into this address line if you want to. But 
The bit we're looking for is this one here. So backup product key default. So that is your installation key will be your license key if you have a local account. If again, like I said previously numerous times, there is a big significant difference between an online account and a offline account and one where you have your key stored with Microsoft servers through your Microsoft account. And it's going to be different if you've got a local account where you don't have a Microsoft key or account, that sort of thing. Anyway, hopefully that all makes sense. There's some uh, pretty good options there for trying to find your Windows product activation key. So there you go, there's a few options for you if you're trying to uh, recover or just find out your Windows installation key. For some people, if you've maybe bought a PC off of somebody on used PC, whatever it is, and you don't actually have a physical sticker or a disc with a label on it giving you the actual product key, this is quite a handy way, especially if you want to do a fresh installation. Again, for people who have OEM PCs from the likes of Dell, HP, etc., then you might find that it's going to be a little bit more tricky. You might have to go through a few more hoops to actually get your product identification key because it may be embedded actually in the firmware. If it is, generally those are easy to do because it's embedded in the laptop. So you can just do a fresh install and it will activate itself with the version that it was came from from the factory. But anyway, as always, if you get any problems with this, so uh, you need any more information, you can reach out to us in the usual way. So either from the comment section down below or you can go over to our Discord and ask for help in there in one of the technical support rooms where uh, we'll try and help you as best we can. Also, all the information will be gone over again in the video description notes, so do check out the show notes so you can copy and paste some of the information. Some of the scripting stuff won't be in the notes itself. You have to go to the Microsoft site because you can't copy and paste those into YouTube show notes, unfortunately, because of some of the uh, actual special characters. Anyway, I'm waffling on now, so hopefully this helps you. If it does, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, hit the subscribe button and the chime notification, and you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.